is the most pro-EU speech he's ever given in his career, saying there are enormous benefits in our membership of the Union and that we must not have a referendum on membership because, and I quote, we must remain members. So if we're just going to have some sort of fudged referendum on do we go forward to a further political union or stay where we are, frankly that isn't good enough. But surely it makes sense to wait and see what happens with the Eurozone in crisis, see what emerges, rather than rushing forward into a referendum now, as you seem to be arguing for. Well, I take the view that we already have 75% of our laws made with the Brussels institutions, that we're paying £50 million a day for the benefit of being in this club, um, and we have unrestricted open borders to the whole of Eastern Europe. I think the arguments now are overwhelming uh, for us to have a trade relationship with Europe, but not to be part of political union. But I would challenge the Prime Minister, you know, if you believe there are benefits to our continued membership of that union, can we please have a full national debate on that? Is there a sense that we've been here before? Because there is some sort of sense in the Tory party that actually Mr Cameron could be repeating some of these sort of arguments that John Major made in trying to diffuse some of the tensions with his own party. Do you buy that argument? Yeah, I mean, the major years were characterised by wait and see, uh, you know, and what Cameron is saying is we couldn't possibly have a referendum until the Eurozone crisis is solved. Well, that could be 20 years away. So I think there is an element of trying to push this ahead. I mean, don't forget that when there was a, a vote in the House of Commons a few months ago on whether to have a referendum on the European question, he three-line ripped his own MPs to vote against there being a referendum. So we know he doesn't want there to be a referendum, uh, but I agree with your opening statement. I think that now he's even mentioned the R word. The expectation is going to become very, very great indeed.